teach you all about the what I call the English a lot of people asking hey I got a leg pain I got a every time morning pain last time you are see my the first uh, about six months a day and maybe I teach you how to do a DIY about the spur on the on the on the heel so a lot of people are very happy that the what I call uh, spur on the heel is good perfect everything is a uh, is a uh, quite good but now now, now I want to teach you all guys a second type because some people is called a spur at the back and actually spur one of the what I call the sickness another one is called a planta pulsitis <laughs> called a planta pulsitis we call it a Chinese call campani and dai pa yin so we are called the dai pa yin it's all the what I call the time information on the what what is the definition of the what I call planta pulsitis planta pulsitis is the what I call the tendon from here one two three four five Five they are connected to all the way down over here. So a lot of people like uh, uh, I, I receive some mail and a message say, hey, uh, my wife uh, always wake up is not on the back but on the side here always morning here pain or this side pain or the front pain. So uh, today I will teach you some DIY about uh, the plantar side is or your pan and dai pan. So how to do? Okay, very easy. Before that I will explain to you why is uh, this one. So. Now check it out. <coughs> I see in front. Here is my mother's tool. So <coughs> you can see this one. This is our leg. Whatever you can see. This is a human body. And whatever I scroll up, then you can see this part. So uh, example one or two legs also same. You can see this is a bone. Huge spur is here, and whatever the plantar side this is like this. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I lost my leg also. Okay, this one. You can see this one. A lot of people got this part pain over here to here. And this is called the ligament tendon. <laughs> ligament tendon over here. So you can see the second part over here. This one. You can see one, two, three, four, five. They're all connected to all the way down. This is called the white dot the tendon or uh, plantar fasciitis. This is a, a fact from here to here. Actually, the white dot tendon and nerve all the way connect to behind the heel. Means from this side to this side and this side. And whatever you can see the muscle, the muscle build up like this. That's why this is a muscle type. You can see over here, this part connected one side and one side over here. This is a muscle. And reduce back to this one, then you can see the three muscles all combined. All right, so you all quite understand what I'm saying from a side view, like this. This is called a arch. This part you can see from here to here, at the way, or connected to the back. See, it's called a plantar fasciitis. And usually, what, what we do the DIY is a loosen up this all tendon, this five tendon. All around here, all connected. That's why a lot of people got this part pain. Sometimes these people got here, and some patient got here and here and here. All right, okay. So I have a lot of patient uh, follow my instruction and follow what I do. It's a uh, quite perfect because uh, usually for this part, <coughs> uh, especially the pain start from uh, early in the morning. Early in the morning, when you wake up, you feel painful on the side here here. A lot of people you all know this part pain is called a spur. That's why I ask them using a pen and what and just try to screwdriver yourself. But this one, sometimes here pain is called a, what I call the tendon inflammation. So usually for this part, how you do, uh, early in the morning you feel this part pain or sore, all is from here. So what you do, I want you to do some exercise like this, using holding like this, standing, standing like this, stretching, and down. Like this, up, down, up, down, now, do how many times? Up, down, this one you can do about uh, 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. 20 times, 1 set. How many sets you do? Uh, one day you can do a, a 2 set. Up and down. It's a stretching back all your uh, plantar fasciitis over here. Then the second one, let's say, oh, you yeah, feel comfortable. Then the second one, you can do like this. Hush. To the any wall we do, flat, flat wall. Then this one stretching. Because why? They are connected to actually tendon. Actually, tendon is behind the tendon. Here, got the line tie. Do like this and stretching for how long? About 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, about ten seconds, then relax. Then straighten back. And now, and straighten back. For ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. All right. So this one you feel oh, now I feel flexible already. Then also can for the standing position you can do and this also can. One, two, three. Lunges similar to lunges, but the stretching from L shape from behind. Four. Okay. Five. Six. Also ten times a day to set. Okay, after that you feel, wow, loosen up. Wow, this part also feel like more flexible and this side flexible. Then you have, you let's say you want to strengthen back all your, because of, just now, just now that one is a core. From here to here, that one is just stretching for this part only. For uh, this part. But uh, Chris, I got a, what I call, I don't know only on the front, but uh, how about the side, the, the, the first one and the last one? What should I do? Then you can do like this, open up your, Stretching. You can feel the tendon. Oh, so tight. Tendon. So tight, so tight over here. Stretching. Then the second one. Then the third one. And four. And five. Fifth. So, whatever you do, this one, yeah. The, um, the one you just have is all whole, whole things. Whole thing, uh, blunt up size. So, this one is uh, through the manual, one to five. Or you can uh, using a water, this one. A round one or square one doesn't matter. You can put some water easier because when I put some water, you are more more weight, not so light. You can put on the floor and do like this massage. One, two, three. Wow, feel great. Wow, very comfortable. Or oh, let's say you don't have a, this one, you also can using like like, like uh, the golf ball, the golf ball or tennis ball or any drum you put on the uh, on the surface and do. Like this. Wow, I feel great. Now I can feel all my all the tendon flexible. Okay, now you've done this part already, really flexible, but and some people tell me, but my 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 first two and second one like feel uncomfortable or or pain or what, then you can do like this. So this is a skill for my mom. <laughs> the peanuts. <laughs> but like, in Korea I can't find anything. So simply just say buy so many things. You can put like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Train your train because I shoot from this part to this part. So you can grab like this. Training, put on one side, grab second one, put on side, and third, put on side, fourth. Ah, see? I, I I I practice my 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 toes. Actually, <clears throat> okay, like this, train. Train, train. Uh, after you do already, yeah. So next time you become monkey, monkey. <laughs> your, your, your leg can be but actually, uh, usually our hand and leg all similar. We have a twenty-seven bone, twenty-seven on the hand. We have a twenty-six bone on the on the on the leg. So they have a missing one bone over here. So that's why the flexibility all same is only our hand can touch, but this one cannot touch. So whatever, same thing you have to do like this. Then let's say usually for the white core plantar fasciitis is a this tendon not flexible. That's why uh, you call it a lot of people got a flat foot. Whatever flat foot very easy to know. You put a powder on the floor, ask the patient or yourself, put a powder on the floor, you just walk in. Walk, step, and go. Then you can see the powder, the whole powder, whether the shape is a flat like this, or got a very nice body like this. If you see like this, perfect means you are the tendon is good. If let's say your your flat all the one piece like this, then you can uh, use this one. This is a plaster, or you can use any plaster. You just uh, tie it up over here, over here, and like this. Then you can see my neck a bit curved. So this one will help. How long you can put this one? Not too tight or not. You feel flexible. This one it will be. Uh, separate the tendon more flexible like this or another way you can uh, using a DIY usually plantar fasciitis is here is this part over here the center one called a spur point spur point over here you can put the coins over here another one is here this side means over here 
so you can see the curve part. This is what I call the arch, the curve part over here. Put the coins here, then you stick. Yeah, you can see these two. These two points, whenever you walk, you feel more comfortable. Now, whatever now I put a cluster or two coins over here, whatever I walk, I can feel my the five tendon is squish is more flexible back for your plantar like this. Alright, one. Okay, so another one, um, let's say uh, I'm lazy, my knee also not so good, my knee problem, I can't do on all these things, this thing. very easy. You take up your pants like this, you put a two spoon of a salt on the water, warm water or hot water, and soak your leg in the hot water with a salt or two teaspoon. So for how long? About 10 minutes, 10 minutes to 15 minutes for the soaking. Because why the salt you will loosen up, uh, the salt will be loosen up the tendon. Same, you know, like a, <clears throat> like a lot of people asking me, hey, you know, my last time I was eating eating a fish or a chicken or what, the spoon, uh, the, the bone, the bone, a fish bone, uh, stuck on my throat. <coughs> a lot of people are uh, using like eating rice and then eating the bowl, using the soft shake. This is called a traditional type. But let's say you are outside there, there are no rice, nothing. How you do? So uh, for, for the, you know that the bone is, uh, is thick, if possible, if you've got a, what I call vinegar, the vinegar, you can drink vinegar. Let's say that what I call the fish bone on your throat, then you slowly, slowly drink about vinegar. Whatever you drink the vinegar, then the, the bone will be, be soft and more flexible, more flexible, same thing. So whatever, this is a vinegar, you don't need to put vinegar on your leg. So usually for tendon, uh, tendon one, you can put a salt, salt your two teaspoon, on the warm water or hot water, then you soak your leg inside there. So in your your leg in the in the bucket or anything about ten to fifteen minutes. Then all your tendon and actually tendon will be loosened up and more flexible. Whatever you ready, you feel more like and less pain. Then usually this one do is like at night, at night before sleep because next morning you feel better. So uh, before I teach you all this DIY, of course I I take a few of guinea pig done already. <laughs> One of my patients, a lot of patients asking me, that's why I ask them to practice, 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 and uh, uh, come back with a result and PM me and write some notes to me. So, oh, it's very helpful. Well. So, uh, that's why today, now I'm in uh, Korea uh, with my family, uh, Leonie and my mother. And uh, uh, today, uh, just have a wonderful time here. I just uh, invite you about the Blanda Pesitis. It's a call, in the Chinese call, Kyo Pan Ngan Dai Fat Yu. It's a Ngan Dai information we call it. So usually caused by this one, you can see your shoe. If your shoe eating one side, eating one side will cause for this a symptom, or your standing position also will cause uh, this symptom, or your sitting position, like you sit on your own leg, on, on your own leg also will cause this one. So if you're actually what you call, the lifestyle is very important. Okay? Good. And uh, if any uh, thing question you want to ask or any DIY you want to ask, maybe you can uh, text me or you can uh, subscribe my channel. Okay, cut out great. If any questions, drop me a comment. Yeah. yeah. Also, and also what